Hey, what's up guys? Kane here with XBLA fans, and I am incredibly excited to get to bring you kind of my thoughts on at least Update 4's patch notes and kind of what I'm seeing. Obviously, one of the big things for me was the addition of awards to Pennant Race. Uh, there was also some stuff done to the logo editor, as well as some various things for people to play offline on single player modes with uh, the ability to kind of track stats better for season and elimination mode. But I'm going to kind of just dive into some pennant race games I've played and kind of talk about some things. Uh, one thing I want to highlight here is I am playing as the Grapplers because I figured I need to put my uh, <laughs> money where my mouth is, per se. And uh, I said if they moved Bambino, this team would move from basically a usable team to a highly viable team. And I genuinely will stick by that because from my experiences playing with them... It is still a pretty solid team. I'm a big fan of the Grapplers. I always have been. And it's one of those teams I wished I could use more. Uh, one of the biggest problems I used to have was the fact that with Bambino having no protection behind him, you'd just get walked or you'd end up on base and nothing would really matter. Now that he has a better hitter behind him, you're going to see a lot more kind of, I don't know, strength in this lineup. It's just more likely to be able to put down those runs when they, they get through that early part of the order. Instead of kind of being a little spot like spotty where it was in the past, where you know you kind of have two good hitters, a bad one, two good hitters, a bad one. Now they've kind of condensed them a little bit, made it work a little bit better. Uh, I think you're a little less likely to see just straight walks anymore on Bambino, which is huge. It's going to really help this team. Now, one of the other things that I noticed, and this is something that I really like, they touched on it in their patch notes, is the fact that it seems like pitchers are a little bit less likely to kind of just hit stuff, hit right at them. Uh, that was always something that was frustrating a lot of players. The fact that it seemed like pitchers just were automatically reacting to every single thing up there. So, I mean, they've done a lot of tweaks and improvements here. Uh, there's some stuff for AI. There's some stuff for online play. I'll have a full-on link just for those of you guys who want to read these patch notes. Uh, but there's been a lot of good improvements. It's, again, that's another ball that normally would have been caught by the pitcher. I mean, in this instance, it actually hurt me because of the fact it was a hit and run and the second baseman was right there. Again, another hard hit ball directly at the pitcher. The pitcher does not get it. This is just one inning. This is multiple balls that in the past probably would have been out. So this is really, really nice to see. And I definitely think it's good for the quality of life of the game that everything hit directly at the pitcher is not caught. I, I can guarantee you the pitcher will still tag some of these. And that's realistic. That's the way baseball is. There are comebackers that will just get caught. But a lot of times when pitchers hit it, you know, they'll tip it off their glove. It actually kills it before the second baseman can even get to it. And it's nice to see the fact that now we're seeing a little more uh, variety in what happens to hits there. Another thing that got changed was uh, pitch speeds at high batting ego have kind of been toned down a little bit. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that I'm actually now hitting at quote unquote a higher ego. However, after getting used to it, it took me about two, three games. Uh, I felt like at this point, it really isn't any harder than it used to be, despite the fact that I'm now playing closer to 86, 88 ego. Uh, by the end of this video, I'm actually even higher than this because I end up picking about 100 rating points up. And we'll talk about that in a later video. Uh, this guy right here actually was trying to do some of the step out, bunt, you know, substitution glitches. Didn't work. Thankfully, for what it seems like, the devs seem to have fixed this issue. It was an issue that was driving me nuts. Uh, honestly, it was causing some kind of crazy games when it came down to it there were a couple players at high levels that were doing stuff uh this guy kind of gets frustrated you can tell so he's gonna end up after this just pegging my first batter in afk so it's just kind of like okay this is nice to see that this is not you know something that they're gonna let continue to kind of just ruin the game because it was getting to that point where honestly it was just getting really really frustrating uh, playing the game online anymore. In fact, if you watched my most recent uh, stream, I stream every Thursday night on twitch.tv slash XBLA fans. I stream more often than that, but Thursday night is my super mega baseball night. I would love to see you guys hanging out with me. 
and I'd love to continue to keep playing this game. We're going to be playing pretty high ego now. Uh, we're back up to 3,500. I'm actually literally now as I'm recording this, I forgot to do it. I'm going to go check and see where we ended up for our last pennant race. I believe I'll probably still be an all-star on crossplay, but we might have snuck into uh, uh, Legend on Xbox One. And we did. All right, so we're on Legendary for Xbox One. Made it by five whole points. <laughs> it's still inflating a good bit each time, which I think is going to cause a little bit of consternation uh, with the way that the awards are designed. Because the awards are designed for people to continue to play. The rating system is kind of designed not for that. So I think there's a little bit of a hiccup there. I'll probably do an entire other video going in depth on that. This is not the point of this video. I don't really want to go way in depth onto things that I think they can continue to fix. Because I think I'd rather talk about some of the things they have fixed. So again, this is showing that at high ego, they've made it a little bit harder to field. There's a lot less hand holding. This is huge. Because someone who's not very good at the game is going to have a little bit more of a problem now. Uh, this is a newer player. I don't mean to use their clips just to call them out and make fun of them or anything. It's not my goal of this. But it's someone who, just from the way the ratings and the, uh, the ego he's playing at lined up, I can tell he's not someone who's been playing a ton. So, you know, there's a little bit of ability to kind of see that stuff. So what I'm noticing is, you know, like he's missing a lot of routine plays and he'll continue to miss a lot of routine plays through these clips. Again, sorry to this guy. It's just, it's a really good example of these situations where you're going to see some very basic balls that in the past would have been like impossible to miss because the CPU would have kind of just done a lot of the work for you. And I'm talking about ground balls to the second baseman, ground balls to the shortstop. Pop flies. Like, a lot of these things, you're getting a little bit less of that first step jump, I feel like. Unless you give it to yourself. And it seems like uh, it's not really working as well for, you know, people who aren't as experienced. And that's something that's super, super great. Um, obviously, earlier you saw this. They improved the menu flow for the disconnects and forfeits. When that guy uh, DC'd and left, I still got to, you know, just finish running around the bases... And then I got to see how many points I earned and how many points he lost. That's huge. Uh, there's also some, you know, basic changes to some other teams. I know Nemesis was another one that got a little bit of tweaks. Um, and there's also some stuff where you can see uh, better game history in your pennant race. And there's uh, some other tweaks that have been made, like sorting the players who haven't played in pennant race yet all the way to the bottom versus sticking them in the middle. I know that was kind of frustrating to some people, you know, like, hey, you played like 10 games and you're four and six and suddenly you're the absolute bottom but the guy who hasn't even played is above you, which makes no sense because honestly, he's zero and zero. He should be literally zero. But uh, I'm just going to move on. We're going to keep talking about some other things in this game. Again, I just wanted to point out this uh, Bambino thing again. It's another good example of the fact that now Bambino has a little bit more protection uh, there's someone behind him who can actually hit now. And this is huge. This is absolutely huge. Because where it was, he was just such a good player. But he had very little help around him. And that just kind of just killed him. Uh, I'm not going to go way in depth onto a lot of the AI stuff. But there's been a ton of tweaks for those of you guys who play offline only. If that's your main focus, I guarantee you should read the patch notes. You'll see a lot of cool things in there. Uh, a lot of things that are going to help you as well. This video, I'm going to remind you, is a little bit more focused on Pennant Race. I'm kind of just kind of trying to show you a little bit of my experiences with playing it. And I've definitely just been really enjoying this game again. And uh, I hope, I hope that it continues to just survive. Because this game is just really well done. And again, another kind of just basic fielding error. I mean, I used to make these all the time every once in a while. So, I mean, this may not be completely new, but the fact that I've seen more of these... And uh, this clip is actually one that I was really hoping I'd remember where it was. Because, to me, this is kind of interesting to see. I have seen this happen once in every pennant race game I've played. It's that rare. So, I've played... I don't even know how many games. More than I can legitimately count. This is a pop fly. My player is right underneath it. Just whips. That is one of those animations that I have barely, barely ever seen. So the fact that I'm seeing it now, and I believe I've seen it twice. That was just one of them. 
Uh, it has to make me wonder how they've kind of tuned the RNG numbers a little bit there. I think they've definitely kind of made it to where uh, fielding is going to be a little bit more difficult. I know a lot of people have kind of been kind of pushing for that in a sense. Uh, for me, I very much line up with I want fielding to be player input based and not completely RNG based. Uh, so I think there's some things they could actually tweak in the future. Uh, I've got another video planned for that, actually, that I'm going to kind of talk about some of the ideas I have behind fielding. Because I think there's some unique things that they could do that would make fielding as a stat still matter without making it completely RNG-based. Um, just because as it is now, uh, I think the big reason why you see so many power teams, why you see so many speed teams, uh, and... Thankfully, they finally made a little tweak to contact, which we'll get to in a second, uh, is the fact that since the game is still based only on run differential, it's kind of rewarding you to score runs. It's not really, you get no benefit if you shut a guy out, if you can't score. If you play every game and you go uh, one nothing, you're barely moving up in the rankings, even if you're playing incredibly well. I'm going to touch on that a little bit later in the video, but... Just wanted to mention that now as another reason why I think fielding as a stat has been kind of undervalued by the community. Uh, and hopefully some of these changes will kind of tweak that a little bit. But I definitely hope they don't go to where it's kind of just suddenly full RNG. I'm not going to go into all the basics of the uh, bug fixes and other things like that. Uh, there's some that actually I'm kind of bummed about because I kind of like the weird one where it hit the edge of the grass and just bounced 50 feet in the air. I thought that was just completely bonkers, and I thought that was pretty cool. So you're going to notice some different things, like the fact that achievements have now been online enabled, which is kind of nice. That's going to be nice to see. I know I hit my first 500-foot home run against a friend, and I got kind of bummed it didn't count. Again, another error there. Like, I mean, I've been seeing a lot more errors all of a sudden, so we'll see how that kind of works. Um... I genuinely think that a lot of the things here have been, like, substantially improved. Uh, I think the extra contact provided by the contact swing, specifically not for AI, but only for players, uh, is going to be something that's a little bit more useful. The fact that they've increased the difficulty of throwing pitches accurately at high pitching you go, I think it's something that's going to be pretty useful, too. Uh, believe it or not, I actually noticed that one incredibly, incredibly well when uh, my pitcher was basically dead tired. So when my pitcher had no accuracy in their bar, all of a sudden I actually felt like I was being penalized for it. And that was something that I think the game had needed for a little while because I'd never really felt like accuracy as a stat mattered for my pitchers. And the fact that now it might, might be something that's going to kind of change things up a little bit. Because as it stands now, velocity was what mattered. They've kind of nerfed velocity in a sense. At least they make it sound like they have in the patch notes and i think that's going to be something that's a little interesting here again i believe this is another clip of bambino if i'm not mistaken but if nothing else no no this is bambino uh but again this is a situation where in the past bambino probably gets walked uh here i get to use my best hitter to drive in a run it's a huge difference i know a lot of people have been saying they want hard hit balls to not have you know like amazing reaction to me, that's a good example of that as well. You put your infield in, you're going to get punished a little bit. That's how it should always work. Hard hits should do that. And from my perspective, from what I've been seeing, I mean, I've only gotten to play, I think, five games or so. So it's not like I've had a ton of time on this patch. Uh, but I definitely think I'm seeing some big improvements. I'll continue to talk about this stuff. We'll be talking about it on Thursday uh, during my stream. I'm going to end a little bit with one of the areas that I think is still a little bit of a mistake, a little bit messed up. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to have to dig into the AI as well. I haven't really had a chance to do that yet, but it seems like there were a ton of tweaks there. Uh, but this next clip after this one is the one I really kind of want to talk about here because I want to end it with this. And to me, this is one of the the big things that kind of still feels wrong with this game. That last game I played, I was playing against a guy who honestly should not have been at that ego. I got 100 ratings points from it. This game is probably a perfect example of one of the closer games I've played in a while. And this is what I like to see. So... This right here actually a little annoys me, the fact that I move my infield in and they still pull to cover the run, uh, for the hit and run, 
for the stolen base. Because honestly, I want to concede that base. I don't know if there's a way to do that, and I just somehow don't know it. But it should not give that up. But even with it giving that up, this turns into a really tight inning between the two of us. And that's what I like to see. This, to me, is high-quality Super Mega Baseball. This is what I want to play. I want to play games like this. I don't want to play games where I'm putting up nine runs on a really bad player. And I don't want to sit back and feel like games like this aren't rewarding me in any sense in the ratings. So I think that's where they really need to look to next. I think the fact that ratings are still 100% based on run differential is a huge problem. And it's really what limits the ecosystem of the teams being used more than anything. The fact that all that matters is run support is why you have to pick a good hitting team. Because even if you pitch incredibly well... Uh, and even then, with a five-inning game and the way that things are tuned on the pitchers, uh, you really only need a good relief staff or a good starting staff. You don't really need both. So unless your starter gets shelled and you just have no relievers, you're not really going to be able to do much. And I mean, like, I managed to get out of an inning with the bases more or less loaded with only that one run. And he's going to basically do the same thing to me. This is what I like to see. I like to see games where it's back and forth constantly where it's two people who are actually playing fairly decently. Like, I mean, this is pretty much my warm-up game, so you can tell that my hitting is off. This is, I think, the first one I played on this patch, more or less, and, like, it, it definitely felt a little different. Um, I'm still not exactly sure. For all I know, the, the batting tuning is identical, and they just move the numbers, you know, up. So you may I, I may be hitting the exact same spot I used to be, but it feels a little bit different. And this, to me was one of the better games I played that day. And I feel like this is what the goal should be, is stuff like this, not stuff like that game before, where I'm basically just trying to nine run, like try to get a 10 run roll on a guy who's just placed in a spot he shouldn't be placed. But if you're trying to keep up with the rating system and trying week by week to continue to go up, games like this aren't beneficial. He's not going to get much benefit out of this. I don't get much benefit out of this. Despite the fact that both of us are playing this so tightly, neither one of us is going to go up or down by any real amount that matters. And that's kind of a bummer to me. I think this is the area that needs to get looked at, at least for online play next. I think this update has been massive. I think a lot of the bugs have been huge. I think it's the type of thing that this game needed to be able to continue to survive. But I think if you're going to try to make the game continue to thrive, this is the area that needs to be looked at a little bit. Because this, to me, is a high-quality game. Uh, me just scoring a lot of home runs off a guy who's pitching straight down the middle, not so much. So I want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are all having a great day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this game. Uh, please do hang out with me next Thursday, uh, 9 p.m. EST on twitch.tv slash xblafant. I'll be playing some more Super Mega Baseball. I can't wait to try it out on this patch. Uh, we'll try to get some of these awards this time. Try to get as many as we can. And we'll just see what we can pull off. But uh, thank you guys again. Please do like and subscribe and share this video. It helps us out a ton. You guys have no idea. Uh, thanks again, guys, and later.